the Forgotten Books of Eden, chapter Book Two, chapters twenty one and twenty two. The previous chapters, eleven through twenty one or eleven through twenty, I thought was the last of the chapters, but it wasn't. So I'm going to conclude the book with these last two chapters. Uh, book Two, chapters twenty one, twenty one through twenty two. Jared dies in sorrow for his sons who had gone astray. A prediction of the flood, and only three righteous men left in the world. The evil conditions of men prior to the flood. So let's get into chapter 21. Jared dies in sorrow for his sons who had gone astray, a prediction of the flood. After this, another company gathered together, and they went to look after their brethren. But they perished as well as they, and so it was company after company until only a few of them were left. And we're talking about the sons of Jared in the previous chapters had was going down to the sons of Cain uh, off of the holy mountain. Then Jared sickened from grief, and his sickness was such that the day of his death drew near. Then he called Enoch his eldest son, and Methuselah Enoch's son, and Lamech the son of Methuselah, and Noah the son of Lamech. And when they were come to him, he prayed over them, and blessed them, and said to them, Ye are righteous, innocent sons, go ye not down from this holy mountain, for behold, your children and your children's children have gone down from this holy mountain, and have estranged Estrange themselves from the holy mountain through their abominable lust and transgression of El Elohiahiah's commandment. But I know through the power of El Elohiahiah that he will not leave you on this holy mountain because your children have transgressed his commandment and that of our fathers which we have received from them. But O oh, my sons, El Elohiahiah will take you to a strange land and ye never shall again return to behold with your eyes this garden and this holy mountain. Therefore, O my son, set your hearts on your own selves, and keep the commandments of El Elohiahiah, which is with you. And when you go from this holy mountain into a strange land, which ye know not, take with you the body of our father Adam, and with it these three precious gifts and offerings, namely the gold, the incense, and the myrrh. And let them be in the place where the body of our father Adam shall lay. And unto him of you who shall be left, O my son, shall the word Yeshia of El Elohiahiah come. And when he goes out of this land, he shall take with him the body of our father Adam, and shall lay it in the middle of the earth, the place in which salvation shall be wrought. Then Noah said unto him, Who is he of us that shall be left? And Jared answered, Thou art he that shall be left. And thou shalt take the body of our father Adam from the cave, and place it with thee in the ark when the flood comes. And thy son Shem, who shall come out of thy loins, he it is who shall lay the body of our father Adam in the middle of the earth, in the place when salvation shall come. Then Jared turned to his son Enoch, and said unto him, Thou, my son, abide in this cave, and minister diligently before the body of our father Adam all the days of thy life. And feed thy people in righteousness and innocence. And Jared said no more. His hands were loosened, his eyes closed, and he entered into his, the rest like his father's. His death took place in the 360 year of Noah, and in the 989 year of his own life. On the 12th of Taka, with this Toxus, on a sixth day, they have one here Friday, but as Jared died, tears streamed down his face by reason of his great sorrow for his children of Seth, who had fallen in his days. Then Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah, these four wept over him, embalmed him carefully, and then laid him in the cave of treasures. Then they rose and mourned for him forty days. And when these days of mourning were ended, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah remained in sorrow of heart because of their father had departed from them, and they saw him no more. Chapter 22 And the final chapter of this book Only three righteous men left in the world, the evil conditions of men prior to the flood. But Enoch kept the commandment of Jared his father and continued to minister in the cave. It is this Enoch to whom many wonders happen and who also wrote a celebrate book, but those wonders may not be told in this place. Then after this the children of Seth went astray and fell they, their children and their wives. And when Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah saw them, their hearts suffered by reason of their fall into doubt full of unbelief 
and they wept and sought of El Elohia higher mercy to preserve them and to bring them out of that wicked generation. Enoch continuing his ministry before El Elohia higher three hundred and eighty five years, and at the end of that time he became aware through the grace of El Elohia higher that El Elohia higher intended to remove him from the earth. He then said to his son, O oh, my son, I know that Alleluia High intends to bring the waters on the flood upon the earth and to destroy our creation. And ye are the last rulers over this people on this mountain. For I know that not one will be left you to beget children on this holy mountain, neither shall any one of you rule over the children of his people, neither shall any great company be left of you on this mountain. Enoch said also to them, Watch over your souls, and hold fast by your fear of El Elohia and by your service of him, and worship him in upright faith, and serve him in righteousness, innocence, judgment, in repentance, and also in purity. When Enoch had entered his when Enoch had ended his commandment to them, El Elohia transported him from the mountain, from that mountain, to the land of life, to the mansions of the righteous and of the chosen that aboard of paradise of joy in light that reaches up to heaven light that is outside the light of this world for it is the light of el elohia higher that fills the whole world but which no place can contain thus because enoch was in the light of el elohia higher he found himself out of reach of death until el elohia higher would have him die altogether not one of our fathers or of their children remain on that holy mountain except those three methuselah lemech and noah for all the rest went down from the mountain and fell into sin with the children of cain therefore were they forbidden that mountain and none remain on it but those three men and that is the end of the book of eden books one and two going over the story of adam and eve when they first arrived here on planet earth and all the apparitions uh, that satan attempted on Adam and Eve and their children, the first few generations of their children. Thank you for listening, and always we bless El Elohia Haya for allowing truth to come to us in the days that he says that knowledge will be increased. And uh, we thank him for his spirit, the indwelling of his spirit, and drawing us near to him. Bless you, El Elohia Haya. Amen.